Hey wood gassers. Well, it's November 2014 and today is fuel making day here on the farm. I just went to a swampy area behind the house and I cut all those saplings that you see on the trailer. So we're going to chip those up and they'll all go in the barn. First I want to show you what's inside my chipper. I have it opened up right now. Let me take you over. I'm going to bounce you around. When I see people doing automotive rear ends and you know low speed slicer chunkers, it makes me nervous and I want to show you why. Okay, this is a Wallenstein BX40 550 RPM chipper. Take a look at the size of that monstrous disc. That thing is a brute. That's a good 200 pound flywheel. So when that's going around nine times a second, whatever you put in there is getting sliced. I don't care what it is. This is a four inch rated chipper. So I'm going to stop here and we'll fire it up. I'll get some chips coming through and splice in the rest of the video. Uh, here we go. Hey guys, here we go. We just started cranking the PTO. We're bringing her up to 550. Here we go. gentlemen is how we do it. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of it. Hey guys, before I go any further finishing up this load, I just wanted to show you this uh, sapling end. None of this stuff that I'm cutting is more than about five years old. In fact, most of the plants that I'm chipping today, I've already cut six years ago. And these are the suckers that came out of the stump. So I'm not cutting any old growth forest doing this stuff. Okay guys, there's the results. That whole trailer load of brush was chopped down to that pile that's maybe three feet tall and give or take six feet in diameter. So onward and upward. <laughs> 